maximum power transfer theorem. Alter this value of r so that we get maximum power in small r. You want to maximize power here, but you are allowed to change the other resistance. Okay, then make this as small as possible. Hello, dear students. In today's session, I'm going to talk about maximum power transfer theorem. Now, this is something that all of you guys are aware of, and I know that. I'm very sure that you know this theorem, and you'll probably be thinking that why start teaching this? This is something that is known to everyone. But I have seen students committing error in using this. So keep watching, guys, because if you have ever got a question wrong in maximum power transfer theorem, then probably you, you should watch this session then. Okay, so uh, I'll tell you the situation. I, it's going to be a short video. I'm going to, I'm going to cover this very quickly. So let's start. So uh, suppose I have a circuit. Okay, I have a circuit uh, in which there is a battery, there is some internal resistance and there is some external resistance. Okay, all right. Now we know that the current in this circuit, it's going to be E divided by R plus R. All right. And if I want to talk about power developed in resistance R, okay. Uh, I'm representing it with P with a subscript capital R. So this is power developed, thermal power rather, okay, in resistance R, okay. Similarly, P small r would mean power developed in small r, okay. That is the internal resistance of the battery. Now, guys, I have two questions to ask you, okay. Let's say this is a variable resistance. I can change it. I can change this uh, according to my wish. Now, I have two questions to ask you. Alter this value of R so that we get maximum power in small r. What is the answer? And alter this resistance R so that we get maximum power in the resistor R. What is the answer? So, I've got two, I've asked you two questions. Okay, I'll write them. Okay. So, my first question is, for what value of R? Okay, PR is maximum. Okay, when we say maximum, what do we mean? We mean that out of all the values of PR that we can get for various values of R, various whatever allowed values of R are, uh, in which value we are going to get a maximum value of P small r. Okay. My next question is that for what value of R, P capital R is going to be maximum. Okay. So if you're already confused now, like you already knew the answer to, uh, you know, to, to a question, like you have seen a question where the value of a resistance is asked uh, under the condition that the power should be maximum. If you know the answer, but you're now confused that that answer applies to which question, then keep watching. Okay. So, let us first write the value of P capital R. So, it would be E by R plus R I square. You know, this will become I square into R. So, here we see capital R in the numerator as well as in the denominator and therefore, a straightforward answer is not there. We need to delve into mathematics. But if I check the value of PR, if I check the value of PR, it would be E by R plus capital R square into small r. So it becomes this. Okay, it becomes this. And again, we have small r capital R both in the numerator and the denominator. Okay. Uh, how do we decide now? How do we decide? We want to get a maximum value of uh, r. Okay. Mm, I hope everything is all right. Looks everything all right. Okay. So the question was uh, for what? Max, like here we have capital R only in the denominator. Here we have capital R in both the places. So here I can see that if I want to get a maxima of this and I need to alter capital R, I will choose capital R as zero. All right, I will choose capital R as zero. So the answer to this question that to get PR is maximum, what is the answer? Okay, the answer would be, okay, R equal to zero or, or we can say, the lowest allowed value okay like it may not be possible to get zero resistance so whatever is the lowest allowed value we will set capital r to that value okay uh, from here it is very simple what about this one for that it is r capital r is in the numerator as well as in the denominator so we will resort to mathematics so i will check dpr by dr that is what we do to identify the maxima e square will be pulled out as the common entity uh, like as the constant and then mm, we will write denominator into differentiation of numerator minus numerator into differentiation of denominator okay and then divided by square of denominator okay and if i equate it with zero what do i get if i equate it with zero i get r plus r okay into r plus r minus 2r equal to zero which means that small r and capital r should become equal so at when these two become equal that is the point when we get maximum value of PR. Okay. So the answer second here, the second answer here would be that capital R should be chosen equal to small r or we should say that uh, capital R should be equal to the remaining resistance of the circuit. Okay. The remaining resistance of circuit. So please understand 
these two statement like don't only focus on these two values also focus on the sentiment that I, i'll tell you what 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 you have to remember if you are trying to maximize power in a resistance and you are allowed to change other resistance okay you are trying to maximize power here and you are try uh, allowed to change the other resistance in the circuit make the other resistance as small as possible okay you are allowed to change you are you, you want to maximize power here but you are allowed to change the other uh, resistance okay then make this as small as possible okay if you want to maximize power here okay if you want to maximize power here and you are allowed to change this then make it equal to the remainder resistance make it equal to the remainder resistance of the circuit okay i emphasize this by giving an example like let's consider a practical situation okay so you try to answer fine answer this, to, to this question okay so the situation is that uh, mm, let me think about it uh, yeah i have a bulb i have a bulb okay let's say the resistance of this bulb is 100 ohm and then i have let's say 10 different different batteries okay i have 10 different batteries each with the same emf but different value of internal resistances and so on okay okay so i have multiple batteries with me all the batteries have got the same emf so the emf is not the difference okay in all the cases emf will be same but these batteries have got different internal resistances so let's say this one has got 10 ohm this one has got 20 ohm this one has got 30 ohm this one has got let's say 50 ohm and so on okay now we want to glow this bulb and we want this bulb to glow with maximum brightness and we have to use one of these batteries they all have got the same emf but their internal resistances are different which battery do you think you are going to select like what is your idea behind selecting the battery we want to maximize resistance or we want to maximize power in a resistance and we are allowed to choose the other resistance so we should choose the emf is same in all the cases so it won't matter if the emf would have been different this would have been a, like this wouldn't have been the right question then okay then we will you know check out each battery individually and then we can talk about this whatever in this present scenario we have to maximize power in this resistance and we are free to choose the other resistance so the other resistance should be chosen as low as possible so i will choose this battery got it so bulb is fixed you have choice in battery batteries have got the same emf but they have got the different resistances choose the one with lowest internal resistance now on the other case uh, on the other hand i have let's say uh, let me frame the question mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hmm. i have one battery i have one battery the emf is e the resistance is 50 ohm okay the resistance is 50 ohm and then i have multiple bulbs i have multiple bulbs okay etc so the, re the these res these bulbs have got different resistances okay let's say this has got 20 ohm resistance this has got 40 ohm this has got 50 ohm okay this has got 60 ohm resistance this has got and so on okay now we want to choose a bulb with a battery we want to choose a bulb that can give us maximum brightness we want to choose a bulb that will glow with maximum intensity so which of these bulbs should we select this time you want to maximize power in a resistance and you are free to choose that particular resistance you are you want to maximize power in a resistance you are free to choose the resistance itself so pick a resistance that matches with the remaining resistance of the circuit so uh, in the remaining circuit 50 ohm is going to be there so i'm going to pick this bulb okay i hope you got that everyone let me give you another example okay so this time let's say we have a circuit like this <coughs> this is a 100 volt battery let's say this is a 20 ohm resistance and there is a variable resistance here let's say or let me put one another resistance this is 15 ohm resistance this is a variable resistance the value of this variable resistance can change from uh, 5 ohm to let's say 100 ohm it can uh, change from 5 ohm to 100 ohm okay all right uh, let me finish the circuit let's say this is r1 let's say this is r2 okay now the question is what should be the value of r2 okay maximize p r1 that is power in r1 maximize p r2 maximize pr r pr only pr okay think about the answer to this question everyone 
okay so the first question is that we want to maximize power in this one and we are allowed to change this one so we want to maximize power in one resistance but we are, we are given the liberty to change the other make this as low as possible so the answer to the first question okay that would be 5 ohm this the lowest value that r can take is 5 ohm so that is for second again we have the same situation we want to maximize power here and we are allowed to change this one set it to maximum to minimum value so 5 ohm for third we want to maximize power in this and we are allowed to change itself so what is the remaining resistance of the circuit the remaining resistance of the circuit is 35 20 plus this this can go to 35 so 35 ohm will be the answer so i hope you are getting the idea everyone i hope uh, this is being clear to you okay let's talk about uh, one more example okay so let's say this is a battery okay with some resistance let's say 6 ohm we have some resistance here let's say 4 ohm this is 10 ohm okay uh, then there is another battery here this is let's say 60 ohm okay and this is on okay now the question is choose let's say we have given the this is 20 volt this is 50 volt and so on okay now the question is choose the value of r so that pr is maximum okay like how much should be the value of r so that pr is maximum okay so guys how to do this question if i assume this circuit as a equivalent circuit like this this is x this is y in equivalent emf and then equivalent resistance can i say that my answer should be equal to like capital r should be equal to r equivalent apart from this resistance whatever is the resistance in the circuit so um if i consider this entire thing as the equivalent battery this entire thing as an equivalent battery whatever is the internal resistance of the battery that is my answer and to calculate the equivalent resistance we don't even know we don't even need to focus upon the batteries you know we we change them to connecting wires and then we find out the equivalent resistance so uh 10 6 and 4 so all these are connected in series so 20 ohm connected in parallel with 60 ohm so 20 into 60 by 80 that is 15 ohm okay so this is 15 ohm and that's it that that, that is the answer okay so like this we can find out the answer so i hope you got this everyone i hope you understood the maximum power transfer theorem the essence of maximum power transfer theorem you're going to come across many questions here across this so be careful you know you need to focus upon that what you have been asked whether you are trying to maximize power in a resistance that you are allowed to change if that is the case then you have to make this resistance equal to the remaining resistance of the circuit or the the resistance in which you're trying to maximize the power if you're allowed to if you are not allowed to change this resistance, but you are allowed to change the other resistance in the circuit, then make that other resistance as small as possible. That is the gist. If you remember this, you will probably have no trouble with maximum power transfer theorem. Take care students. You will see me again in the next session. And take care. All the best. Bye-bye.